Why does support vector regression, or SVR, hold such a significant place in the vast field of machine learning? It's a question that merits an in-depth exploration. Imagine a group of data points scattered on a two-dimensional plane. The goal here is to find a function that can predict the dependent variable based on the values of independent variables. This is where support vector regression comes into play. To understand SVR, think of it as a type of support vector machine, or SVM. While SVM is a classification algorithm used to categorize data into different classes, SVR is a regression algorithm used to predict continuous values. The first step in SVR is to choose a kernel, a function that transforms the data into a higher dimensional space, making it easier to find a hyperplane that separates the data. The most common types of kernels include linear, polynomial and radial basis function, or RBF. Next, the SVR model is trained using the chosen kernel. This involves finding the best hyperplane that fits the data. The best hyperplane is the one that has the maximum number of points close to it and as few as possible on the wrong side. Then, an epsilon insensitive tube is drawn around the hyperplane. Any data points that fall within this tube are ignored during the calculation of the error term. The width of the tube, denoted by epsilon, is a parameter that can be adjusted based on the requirements of the model. The SVR algorithm then tries to minimize the error, which is the distance between the data points outside the epsilon insensitive tube and the boundary of the tube. The data points that lie on the boundary of the tube or outside it are the support vectors. Finally, using these support vectors, a function is created that can predict the output of a new data point. So, why does SVR matter? It's because SVR is a powerful tool for prediction. It can handle high-dimensional data, it's robust to outliers, and it allows for fine control over the trade-off between error and model complexity through the adjustment of parameters like epsilon and the cost parameter C. In conclusion, support vector regression is a compelling machine learning method. It's a way of learning from data, of transforming chaos into order, of making predictions about the future based on the past. It's a tool that, when wielded correctly, can help uncover the hidden patterns in data, making it an invaluable asset in the field of machine learning.